The chair now recognizes Mr. Schneider for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank our, our witnesses today. Um, I speak for my district, our country. We're, we're grateful for your work. Uh, impressed by your personal commitment to what you do, uh, but also by the breadth and depth of your organizations and all the people who are, are, are doing the, the, the vitally important uh, efforts to make sure that we're uh, overseeing the, the aid that we're sending uh, to Ukraine. I, I'm going to start with some questions that are maybe kind of basic, but just help my understanding, help me explain it to, to my constituents. Um, You've established this Ukraine Oversight Interagency Working Group. Uh, and I think I'm paraphrasing or maybe quoting some of what you said. I see three objectives. One, make sure aid is going where it's intended. Two, make sure aid is being used as it's intended. And three, that uh, U.S. goals and objectives are being achieved or on their way to being achieved. Is that a fair description or should I expand on that? I think that's fair. Okay. Um, let me take it from a different angle, again, just to uh, describe it, is the things that you all look for include um, fraud, waste, and abuse, obviously. Um, I've heard and, and read in your statements corruption and, and collusion, whether it's collusive bidding, whatever. Diversion, misallocation, uh, misuse, or, or misapplication of what's being sent. Are, are those the things that we're looking at? Yes, among others. What, what would be some of the others, just to make sure that I, I have them on my list? Well, I think an important aspect to our mission is efficiency and effectiveness. So of course we want to identify, uh, identify fraud, waste, abuse, diversion, things of that nature. But we're also here to try to help the US government uh, operate more efficiently and effectively. And so I think that's an important aspect as well. OK. Um, anything else I should add? or? I, I would also add misconduct. So from USAID's perspective, in addition to misconduct of personnel um, in the US government sphere, we are also looking at misconduct on behalf of uh, people employed by the NGOs or UN partners that are implementing USAID programming. OK. Um, going back to what I was talking before, especially the third goal, uh, measuring progress against goals and objectives. Uh, the reports, and I will go in and read them in more detail, have you identified that? And I know, I suspect we can't talk in an open forum about the specific goals and objectives we have for the aid uh, in detail, but measuring our, our progress towards that, um, how are you uh, set up to do that specifically? So I can kick it off and just say um, that uh, a great example of one of the ways that we're doing this is with uh, the foreign assistance that's flowing through the Department of State. So we have ongoing work right now looking at whether the department has developed a strategy and what that strategy looks like um, to inform the funding that's flowing through foreign assistance. And so that's going to be an important sort of baseline. And then that positions us to come back in after the fact and look at the effectiveness of that strategy as it's actually, actually implemented. So that is an important part of our work. Great. And, and that's exactly what I was looking for, because it, it shouldn't be just money going willy-nilly, but have a strategy, know where it goes, and then go back and measure it and, and look forward to do that. Let and me shift gears a little bit. Can, can I just yeah, add? Please. I was just going to add another example that may help. So in all our work, what, you know, as I said before, we don't set policy, right? That's, right. Uh, that's up to others. But we look to see if the efforts of the departments and agencies we oversee are achieving the desired policy and are there ways to be more effective in doing that. So a great example of an ongoing project we have right now, which is in, it goes right to this, is validating the requests for assistance from Ukraine. So we're looking to see whether controls are in place within the DOD to when they get this demand signal for a particular type of you know, military assistance, how is that being validated? Then how is that being coordinated with partners to a point we've talked about before? And then a third part, which we may end up splitting off to try to be more agile in our reporting, is uh, how is that being sourced within DOD when, when the Americans are gonna supply it? How does that need get met? And so we're looking to see are the controls in place to do that efficiently, effectively, and as we've talked about before, yep. at the speed of war. Great point. I think that's where I was going with this. Is it's important for us to understand not just that we've watched and made sure money was spent as intended, that there was no corruption, collusion, et cetera, but that we are truly achieving our goals and, and that our strategy was up in, in, right in the, in the first place. Uh, I have a big question. I only have a little bit of time left, so I'm going to throw the question out. We can talk about it later, but it's really, are, 
what are your blind spots and how can we in our role help make sure that you're working to uh, address those blind spots, some we know, some we may not yet be aware of. That's for another day. Uh, I'm over time and I, I yield back, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman yields back.